Okay guys, so this is an OBD1 Honda fuel injector and I needed to unplug these and it was kind of a hassle because it was really difficult to get the plugs out, the pins out and um, that is because you don't know what they look like uh, because they are in the connector so I just looked up some YouTube videos but I couldn't find a video about OBD1 so this is why I uh, decided to make a video of it I already did one this is just a normal one still uh, still uh, intact and what you have to do is as you can see here there's a rubber this piece is a rubber piece this piece here and you need to get that out but that's a little bit difficult because it mines are 20 years old no uh, yeah 20 years old <laughs> um, but to get them out you have to pry in with uh, with a screwdriver or something like that just all the way around at the edge here. So you get your screwdriver in and you start prying the rubber seal out of it. And what it will look like is this. And because the rubber is very old, maybe you see it some uh, see it tearing somewhere, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, if you did that, you will see that here is a plastic, yeah, plastic thing sticking out. And you must tear that out or pull on it with a pliers or something like that. And what happens is this will come out. So this is seated like this, probably, yeah. So this is what it's seated, but it's it's pu uh, it's pushed in all the way. So you have to really pull it. It's, you don't need to pull too hard, but just pull uh, hard enough to get it out. And if that happens, you will see the bare metal uh, pins from this side. And now what you need to do is you have to know, and I didn't know that, but you have to know that uh, these pins have a little, a very little, little, I'll try to show that here, a little piece of metal sticking out, which keeps them in the connector. So, oh, I can really get my camera to focus but you will see that this is the little the little thing so what you need to do is when you get into the connector with something like a screwdriver a very small thing I just need I just use a paper clip which I bashed with a hammer so that um, it is a little bit flatter on the outside what you need to do is you need to go into the connector so that you can push this little hinge down and if you can do that if you manage to do that the pin will come out really easily so I'll try to show that uh, once again with these ones now let me think how, how they were in I guess like this yeah you, you heard them you heard them snap in so I just show you with one I just need to look here so you take your little prying uh, tool, you push it in all the way, and then you start pushing it down, and you will eventually you'll see that it will come out. It's a little bit difficult. It's not easy. Yeah, that goes. So this is it. That's what you need to do. That's all, folks.